The dark side of EVs that car makers are hiding. It's no secret that the electric vehicle market has been booming in recent years with more and more car makers introducing their models to keep up with the demand. However, there is a darker side to this revolution that many manufacturers may not be so forthcoming about. While EVs may offer a solution to the problem of climate change and our reliance on fossil fuels, significant challenges still need to be addressed. From high maintenance fees and range anxiety to potential security issues, there are several obstacles that the EV industry must overcome. So what are these challenges that the EV industry is facing? How do they impact consumers and the wider world? And what can we do to address them? In this video, we'll explore some of the most pressing issues facing EVs today and discuss why car makers and policy makers must take them seriously. Whether you're a fan of electric cars or a skeptic, understanding the dark side of this industry is essential for making informed decisions about our future on the road. Join us on Voltify as we delve deep into the world of electric vehicles and uncover the truth that car makers may not want you to know. High Tech Too much technology can be a problem, especially for electric cars that are connected to the internet. Hackers can easily find and attack these cars because they are highly advanced. This is a serious issue because not only can they steal data or the car itself, but they can also remotely control the car and cause a lot of damage to people and public property. This was already proven possible in 2016 when a Chinese company hacked two Tesla cars. While Tesla has fixed the problem, there will always be a risk of being hacked as hackers continuously try to find ways to breach the car's security. So it's important to keep up with maintenance and stay alert to prevent this from happening. Acceptance. The biggest problem in getting more people to use electric cars is that it requires a big change in how they live and there aren't enough helpful resources available to teach them about it. Merely borrowing a friend's Tesla for a day is insufficient to provide a long-term perspective on the experience of owning an EV. It is no longer possible to drive to a charging station and obtain 300 miles of range in five minutes. Owning an EV necessitates a substantial lifestyle shift, and purchasers must clearly understand where their primary charging station will be. A home charger is the most practical option, but it is not always feasible for everyone. Acceptance of new technology always entails difficulties, and EVs are no exception. It is essential to recognize that EVs are not simply a matter of adapting to a different lifestyle. The viability of electric cars has become a contentious political and social issue, with debates involving climate change skeptics, vested interests in fossil fuels, and those within the automotive industry. Although the concept of electric cars has gained traction recently, early attempts at producing them were mostly unsuccessful, leading many to dismiss them altogether. In 2019, Dyson had to abandon its electric car project due to commercial infeasibility, while Fisker Automotive, which produced the high-end hybrid electric vehicle Fisker Karma, went bankrupt in 2013. Other electric car failures include the GM EV1 and the Sinclair C5. Even Tesla faced setbacks such as the failed collaboration with Toyota for the RAV4 EV. Therefore, it may take a while before electric cars become widely adopted. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons to stay updated on the latest content from Voltify. Battery Charging Battery charging has been a persistent issue with electric vehicles, which is unlikely to disappear until GM develops a battery that can last for a million miles. When switching to an electric vehicle, the range is typically cut in half or even more, and cheaper electric vehicles have significantly lower ranges, which most drivers find challenging to adjust. One would need to upgrade to a more expensive model to increase the range. 
Fortunately, Tesla's supercharger network allows for an 80% charge in less than 40 minutes, but other electric vehicle manufacturers continue to struggle. The fear of getting stranded mid-journey due to a lack of battery charge, commonly called range anxiety, is becoming increasingly prevalent. While more people are now installing electric vehicle chargers in their homes, offices, and malls, overcoming range anxiety while planning a road trip remains challenging. However, a 45-minute break for coffee and stretching while the electric vehicle charges up during a long journey doesn't seem too bad. Unfortunately, the public charging infrastructure in most countries remains inadequate, and the number of charging points is only part of the problem. In the UK, for example, the public charging network in key highway locations is primarily run by Ecotricity's Electric Highway, which has mostly AC Level 2 charging in America, or Chademo DC chargers. While these are suitable for cars like the Nissan LEAF, they are useless for most modern electric vehicles. Additionally, many charging stations do not work, and even when they do, charge times can be lengthy. These issues pose significant challenges for electric car companies, and while access to high-speed charging is improving, there needs to be a significant increase in charging points to eliminate range anxiety and charging problems. Maintenance. Setting aside maintenance costs, it is worth considering the number of mechanics in your area who specialize in electric cars. Although electric vehicles generally require less maintenance in the event of an accident, it may be necessary to seek the services of a specialized workshop. Additionally, towing an electric car to a neighborhood garage may not be feasible. In certain locations, such as Dubai, this may not pose a significant challenge, but there may be concerns regarding high fees. It is true that electric vehicles have fewer moving parts and are therefore less prone to mechanical failure. However, they have intricate electrical components, such as power steering motors, high-voltage relay banks, and a large and expensive battery pack beneath the car's floor. The battery pack is a critical vehicle component and can be more expensive than the motor itself. The condition of the electric vehicle battery has a significant impact on the overall performance of the car. Exposure to extreme temperatures, whether too hot or too cold, can damage the battery. If you charge the battery too much, it might stop working. Electric vehicle batteries have a narrower temperature operating range of 59 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit compared to internal combustion engines, which have a range of minus 30 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Furthermore, the battery components of electric vehicles are highly flammable and can pose a fire risk. To address this, manufacturers have divided the battery into smaller cells with firewalls to prevent thermal runaway. Typically, an electric vehicle battery has a lifespan of 10 years, with a gradual loss of capacity at around 2.3% per year, resulting in a decreasing range. Replacing a Tesla Model 3 battery, for instance, can cost around $13,500 for a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, excluding the cost of labor. While it is not necessary for car owners to learn how to replace the battery themselves, the high cost of battery replacement may lead to range anxiety. Lack of choice. When it comes to purchasing a new car, finding a suitable option within your budget is usually not a problem, and you may even negotiate the price at a dealership and drive off in a brand new internal combustion engine vehicle. However, in the case of electric vehicles, the options available are often geared toward the higher end of the market. Although there are some EVs that are more affordable, they typically have limited ranges which may not meet your needs. For instance, a new Tesla Model 3 costs costs no less than $40,000 and has a range of 263 miles. While prices may decrease in the future as Tesla refines its manufacturing process and expands its gigafactories worldwide, petrol and diesel cars are still generally less expensive than EVs. 
Giving up hope is not necessary if you have the financial means to choose an electric vehicle. It is important to select an EV with sufficient range for your daily needs and develop a charging routine. You should have a clear idea of where you can recharge and the speed at which charging is available. There are even apps available that can help you locate the nearest charging station and provide relevant information. It is important to understand that the decision to switch to an EV should be based on careful research and understanding of the EV lifestyle and the demands that come with it. You should be prepared to charge mostly at home or have a routine of places to go where charging is available, such as shopping centers, fitness centers, or restaurants. It is equally important to learn the best way to maintain your EV to prevent issues and consider service costs. Share your thoughts in the comments below if you plan to purchase an EV after considering these factors. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a video from us.